Hi, I'm Musik and you're watching Artist Life. Well, welcome to my living room. Well, today I will be finishing this painting that I had started uh, about a week ago. And uh, I'm sure you've been following along with our, um, with the progress of the other videos that uh, we had made on this particular painting. So this is the last uh, session on this, uh, on this painting. So uh, glad you can join us. And uh, once again, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please go ahead and do that and press the like button and also share. So if you're ready, let's start. Well guys, so here we go with this very last um, session on this uh, plein air painting that I have been working on for the last, uh, I'd say about a week or a week and a half. And uh, I've had so much fun doing this. And uh, right now the idea is to go in and start refining um, some of the areas that um, I kept very loose and um, and if you notice I'm working on the sky and just kind of like scanning through the whole painting and just uh, trying to bring things together so and the purpose uh, at this stage is again to start detailing just a little bit and working on the shapes and the forms and also um, applying um, uh, more textures so in other words putting more paint on the canvas than what I actually have. So, um, so that's kind of like what we're doing with this. So here, again, just putting some changes on the trees. And um, just refining um, anywhere that I see that needs work. Uh, putting some shadows back there. And again, just defining certain shapes that need work like the shadows maybe working on the branches okay so um, the color of the branch if you notice it is like raw umber and the way I got that is to mix cadmium red with ivory black and that will give you the shade and uh, the cool thing about that is that if you want a warmer shade of brown you know just emphasize more on the cad red than the black and the grays um, are with ultramarine blue and that brown that I got with with black and cad red so just working from one area to another and I do apologize about my lighting right now it just went off a little bit um, sorry about that okay so putting some branches with a detail brush and uh, pretty much I've been consistent with my brushes. Uh, I've used a number two flat bristle, number four uh, flat bristle, and also I have been using a detail brush and, um, and liquid actually is my preference. Um, I really enjoy using uh, liquid because it dries my painting quickly and also um, it helps me to um, thin down the paint so so putting uh, working on this 
greenery here right now and the shadow of the tree and also the uh, thin pine trees in the back So guys, here now I decided to just get rid of the um, stonework and just um, make that whole thing into grass. So I am turning this area into grass. you notice it's not that hard just going over my existing paint and there you have it we can bring some sky through the trees right there if you notice I'm just applying some blue Again, I might not want to refine this too much because it does need to have that plain air effect, the looseness that what makes a painting into a planer. So I hope you enjoyed it. Well guys, that's about it with this episode. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, once again, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that and press the like button. And don't forget to share. Until next time, happy painting. Bye.